What's up, LDBC? It's your boy, Mr. Universal Sports. I'm back with another video. About to cover that Andre SOG war versus surrogate KKK. That's why I, I got, I was faking getting knocked in the, I got knocked the fuck out, Kovalev. And I'm ecstatic, everybody, because for my scorecard at the time of the knockout, the TKO victory, rather, for Andre SOG war, I had a 67-66. And I scored the first two rounds for the racist surrogate Kovalev because he landed the more effective punches he was working the jab and I was scoring this fight as fair I was being fair when I was scoring the fight and but after the third round Andre Ward just took over and he was just hurting Sergey Kovalev with body shots he was just hurting him with the body shots and I think really think Ward learned something during the first fight was that if I get past the third round third to the fourth round that Sergey Kovalev tends to run out of gas and gets frustrated and you can be able to hurt him or to get the knockout and Andre Ward definitely went to the investment bank folks and picked up interest and was able to get the TKO victory in the eighth round and honestly I mean I'm being honest this was a very satisfying victory to get for Andre Ward to get this is his best victory because a lot of people thought that he didn't win the first fight I scored the first fight for Andre Ward 115 to 112 I thought Andre Ward in the first fight took over using movement. He adjusted to Sergey Kovalev in the second half of the fight. And, and during the second fight, we saw that how Andre Ward readjusted to Sergey Kovalev's power. I knew that Ward, Andre Ward was not going to get knocked down in the second fight. And the fact that he finished all Sergey Kovalev shows that Andre Ward is pound for pound the best fighter in boxing, along with Terrence Crawford. What I want to see next from Ward. Now, obviously, the WBA is the very tricky because the mandatory for the W, the, well, the regular title holder for the WBA title is Nathan Cleverly. But from what I'm hearing, he's fighting Badu Jack. Now, there's a lot of young fighters coming up in the light heavyweight division. So there's work for Andre Ward to be for it to get done. But if I was Andre Ward and none of the mandatory fighters wanted to fight him and he has a clear path to undisputed, the next fight he should make is Adonis Stevenson. We need to see undisputed in one of these weight classes. And I think Ward Stevenson will be a huge fight. Now we have a problem because Adonis Stevenson is an Al Heyman fighter and they fight normally on Showtime and but Andre Ward fights on HBO and they normally don't do business with each other but as we seen with the Tyson Lewis fight and the in the recent Manny Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather Jr. fight that it can be done. They can make the fight. So there's no excuses to for both of these cable networks to make the fight happen. So Please, uh, I'm just, I'm not worried about the sanctioning your bodies in this case for undisputed in the light heavyweight division. I'm worried about the cable companies getting in the way for undisputed. But I'm very pleased and what a display of Andre, body work by Andre Ward. He wasn't bothered by the power of Surrey Colville. And I knew, and I was talking to people, I was at a fight party, obviously, so I didn't pay for this fight. But the fact that I, I knew Andre Ward's style was taking over I'm after the third round. So, tell me what you guys think about the fight. I'm very ecstatic about Andre Ward's victory over Sergey KKK Kovalev. Tell me what you guys think. It's your boy, Mr. Universal Sports. And I'm out. Please, have a good night. Tell me what you think about the fight.